What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am officially off of my night shifts and back to everyday schedule. Well, sort of, I'm having kind of a little bit of trouble adjusting, but anyways, I'm going to bring you all along on this week because I have a few different things kind of going on. So why don't we go ahead and get to it. All right, so first and foremost, yes, I survived those four weeks of call in that last seven days straight of nights. It nearly killed me, but I'm back. And I officially start IR rotation today, which is pretty cool, back to my favorite thing to do and what I'm doing for a living. So I'm happy to be back on interventional. Now, with that being said, I finished my morning shift of my seventh night straight yesterday, which was Sunday at 8 a.m. And I was gonna try to take like a little three hour nap or so, but I just couldn't for the life of me. So I ended up staying up, got my hair cut at like four o'clock and my poor hairstylist Erica, like she couldn't even talk to me because I was basically like a zombie. But anyways, I got my hair cut yesterday, stayed up till about 8 p.m. where I just completely crashed. And I slept until about 10 a.m. this morning. So I had a good 14 hours of sleep and luckily I have the best attending in the world and she gave me this morning off. Well, she sort of gave me this morning off. I said I was gonna try to come in, but I wasn't making any promises because to get off of work at Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and then switch over to waking up at 5 a.m. the next morning is almost impossible. Well, it's impossible for me. So I ended up waking up at about 10 a.m. because I literally could not wake up to get to the cases this morning. This morning we had like two Venus cases some uh, greater saphenous vein ablations, and I think a venous sclerotherapy, if I wasn't mistaken, which I love those cases because I want to do them when I finish and go into practice. So I was a little annoyed that I couldn't make that because of this stupid night schedule. But do I feel like crap today still? Yes, I do. I feel absolutely terrible, but what can you do? This is the life we've chosen. But anyways, we have vein clinic today, and that's where I'm going right now. So at the vein clinic, this is where we see all of the new patients and follow-ups from prior venous procedures. Because yes, IRs do vein procedures as well. I think vascular surgeons and maybe sometimes some interventional cardiologists do it too. So we'll be seeing a few vein follow-ups today and a few new vein patients. And I will tell you, obviously won't tell you about the patients that I see, but I'll kind of tell you about the general cases we see after clinic. So I just got back in the car after our two clinic appointments. And yes, we only had two clinic appointments this afternoon, which is fantastic because my brain is like working at 25% right now. I just feel so cloudy right now. I don't think I could handle like a full day of seeing patients. But anyways, um, so we mostly handle more uh, like varicose veins in this clinic. So people come in for chronic varicose veins. And for those of you who don't know what varicose veins are, it is those dilated big veins that you see down the lower extremities or down the lower legs. I know you've probably seen people with them walking around or may have seen patients with them as well. Um, they cause a whole host of problems from, you know, chronic swelling, chronic kind of leg pain, dullness, um, heaviness in your legs and uh, swelling because those incompetent veins aren't allowing blood to be pumped back to the heart and everything kind of just pools in the lower extremities. So they come to see us, we assess them, do ultrasound, do a whole bunch of different tests. And sometimes we can treat those varicose veins by either ablating the main vein that they drain into, which is the greater saphenous vein. We basically access via ultrasound, stick a laser guided wire up there and basically burn or ablate the entire vein. And also we can do something called a stab phlebectomy. So basically what we do is preoperatively or pre-procedurally, we'll have the patient stand up. We will look at the veins on their lower extremities, mark them with a marker, and then bring them back to the uh, procedure room. We numb up the skin around that the markings we made, make a small incision, and we actually scoop out the vein and we try to pull it out and we kind of strip it. So it's like vein stripping or stab phlebectomy is the technical term for it. We just basically pull those veins out and strip them and basically kill those veins. So the varicosities and the varicose veins of the lower extremities are stripped out. It sounds barbaric, 
but it's not as barbaric as the actual name implies. So these patients actually do very well and they have very good things to say about it and they will love you after you do these procedures because it gets rid of all their chronic kind of pain that they have. And, and it's basically like a cosmetic procedure too because nobody wants those big uh, juicy serpiginous vessels down their legs. It's just not very fun for anybody. So that's what we did today. I'm going home right now. I'm literally going to sit on the couch. I'm not gonna work out today. I'm still trying to recover from this terrible switching night shift to day shift life. So we'll catch you back tomorrow. I'll be back on procedures in IR in the suites tomorrow. It's been about two months. Looking forward to it. See you in the morning. And good morning. So it is about 5.30 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Last night was a little tough. I hope you can see me. This is like the only light. It's super dark in the morning now that the time has changed. But um, so yeah, I, I'm going through this whole process of switching over to day shifts again. And I woke up at about 3.50 or 4 a.m. Even though I went to bed at about 8.30 or no, I went to bed about 9, 9 p.m. I woke up about 3.45, 3.50. I don't know why it's like this whole transitioning back to day thing kills me for some reason i'm at the main hospital today for ir i'm doing procedures all day today so hopefully i can just start crushing coffee all day and and not be dead tired so finish work today hopefully i don't stay too late because i have to pick andrena at the airport again today yes again she left to go on some interviews so we'll be doing that later today but all right i have to go do some cases so we'll check in a little bit and we are officially done with our first day back on IR. Um, let's just say I'm still a little tired. I have not recovered from this night shift switch over to daytime, like literally at all. Still just super foggy today. Did a whole mixture of G-tubes, ports, liver biopsies. What else did I do today? Um, I forgot what else I did this morning. I did a dialysis uh, graft declot, a whole bunch of other stuff I literally can't remember right now because my mind is just not with it. But anyways, I'm still wearing a new scrub shirt and my figs joggers because I was sweating like, I went through like two scrub shirts today because I was sweating so bad. Our hospital is so hot for some reason, I think because it's like 70 degrees outside and our hospital was so hot. But anyways, I'm about to show you something because you may remember this spot from our last video. We happen to be in a similar scenario, as in <laughs> I'm at the airport at the end picking up Andriana and walking to the observation deck to watch the plane take off because I'm like 20 or 30 minutes early. So once Andriana lands, we will go pick her up and yeah. That's pretty much it. Again, another beautiful day at the observation deck. That is Andrana right there. Let's get an extreme close up of her landing. To me. So you may be wondering why I'm back to the airport again and why Andrana is flying back like three days after I just picked her up from the airport last time. And the answer to that is she got a, I think she got like three interviews. So she got three interview offers this past weekend, which means she had to book a last minute flight to New York on Saturday. She stayed there Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today is Tuesday. She's coming back today. So she went through all of her interviews in like two days, multiple interviews per day in New York. And now we're going to pick her up. So let's go do that right now. Look at her, look at her, look at her. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi. All right, so I've been a little absentee today, and that's because I have been getting destroyed in the IR suite all day, but that's good. It's good, it's good practice. So I'm officially done now. Um, I did a ton of different cases today, which was all great. I did some things that I haven't done in a while, which is also great. So we got here about 7 a.m., grounded, and I have literally been in procedures all day long, bouncing from room to room for whatever comes up. So I was the only fellow on procedures today, or fellow, per se. That's what we're called. But anyways, did a whole bunch of procedures. It's about six o'clock now. I'm heading home. However, I am on call tonight. So if anything happens overnight, I will have to come into the hospital and you better believe I will film it. Otherwise, I'm gonna go home right now, take a shower, because that's my favorite thing to do, and relax on the couch and hope I don't get called in. And if I do get called in, I guess it's not the end of the world because at least I'll get a procedure to do overnight. And usually they're pretty fun procedures like someone is bleeding and we need to embolize or something along those lines. And tomorrow I'm actually going to one of our branch hospitals for the first time. And my attending will be in cases all day. And I'll be doing all of the bread and butter IR stuff in the meantime. So it's time to get some rest tonight and see you in the morning. And good morning, everybody. It is Thursday and I am at a different hospital campus today and it's actually like super beautiful very high-end and new so today I'm doing all outpatient procedures probably crank out like eight ports maybe some random stuff prostatic artery embolization and whatever is on the schedule so let's get to it and we are officially done with this outpatient day so basically I cranked out like a million and a half ports which is pretty cool you get pretty fast at doing them and i really like the people over here it's kind of like a small community hospital and everybody's like super thankful for you doing things for them which makes it really nice and it's kind of a slower pace so you can actually like have a conversation with the patients and you know talk with them a little bit and then you can see them after the procedure before they go home and they always thank you and it feels really good so that was a lot of fun today Tomorrow is a little different as well. I think I'm doing a different thing every day this week. So tomorrow I'm going to m and in the morning and then I have IR clinic tomorrow morning and afternoon. So I will be doing mostly like seeing uh, patients for taste and tear workups. So that's what I will be doing tomorrow and we will check in then. And it is officially my fifth day and the week is coming to an end. So on that note, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. You know the drill, turn on post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video, which is usually about once or twice every week. See you all in the next video.